What's up you all welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to talk about BioLine RX ticker symbol BLRX BioLine RX is a drug development company the stock is trading at $2.93 there was a huge up yesterday in the stock price it was trading uh, before it was trading at $2.30 $2.25 level yesterday it jumped up 25% to $2.93 if I show you the chart for five days you will be able to see it better take a look at how it was trading it was two dollars and fifty cents and it was trading around two dollars and twenty five cents to fifty cents level yesterday it jumped up all the way to two dollars and ninety three cents actually two dollars and ninety eight cents and got back to and, and it was closed at $2.93. So I wanted to share more about this company. There was a volume spike in this uh, stock as well. There are lots of analysts rating and it got a lot of coverage, few online portals. So I'm going to share a lot more inform information about this stock. Consider subscribing to my channel for future videos. Share this video with your friends and family and click the like button because it takes me a while to post these videos and share this information. So your like is very, very appreciated. This is a Penny stock and penny stock has its own risk and rewards so please do invest accordingly do not invest your entire portfolio in penny stock because there is a potential that you can make a lot more money with penny stock on the flip side you can lose them all as well so only invest whatever you are willing to lose in terms of your investment usually personally me i do not have more than five to seven percent of my overall portfolio invested in penny stocks Penny stocks are very rewarding as well. You can double your money within a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months as well, or maybe overnight. We have seen that with BNGO, CHEK, ZOM. We have seen that with multiple stocks lately. Without further ado, let's talk about BLRX. In this video, I'll be talking about three things. The first thing is how the stock is trading, what was the volume spike, and how the stock looks like in general and their trading pattern. I'll be, as a second thing, I'll be talking about the analyst rating, the target. Third thing that I'll be talking about is in general what the company does, what is the outlook looks like, when the product is going out in the market, and how the company is going to generate revenue for themselves. BioLine RX is a publicly traded drug development company that's to discover a compound for disease treatment and development into the commercialization of the drug. They are based in Israel and it is traded on NASDAQ and the stock price is $2.90 as you see at the moment. Actually, in the pre-market right now, it's three dollar and two cents. So it is it is getting a lot of positive momentum. It's a penny stock. They do not have the revenue yet. In Q2, they did not. In Q3 2020, no revenue, and their net income was negative 4.62 million. In Q2 2020, they were negative. The net income was negative 6.77 million. In Q1, negative 6.65 million. So their burn rate is pretty high. In Q in Q1 2020, they had $5.07 million in cash, and they had similar cash in Q2, and in Q3, they had $6.55 million in cash. So they are running out of cash, and their burn rate is pretty high. I'll be explaining how they're raising the capital, and raising capital is not really a problem at the moment. Also, they do not have this penny stock does not have any extension in terms of the price uh, target for bidding above $1 because it is already trading at $3.09 uh, from yesterday today's price of $2.93. As you can see, the market just opened. Let's take a look at the volume. Yesterday's volume was 17 million compared to their average volume. That is pretty lower. Their volume was 17 million on January 28th. That was yesterday. Before that, they were trading at 1.8 million on January 27th. On January 26th, same 1.8 million. And before that, there was a volume spike on January 20th, 13 million stocks. When the stock price went down from $3.17, to two dollars and 34 cents what i'm trying to uh, point here is larger volume always doesn't doesn't mean that the stock price will spike many times the stock price is lower when the volume spikes up there might be some negative news or there is some event that is going on with the company or there are the expectations where the company falls behind those are some of the reasons when the volume is higher and the stock price goes down that is not the case 
in uh, on january 27 from january 27 to 28 the volume spiked up from 1 million or 1.8 million to 17 million and the stock price went up so this time the volume brings in very positive momentum talk about the analyst target analyst rating targets where the stock is headed in terms of the stock price the one year target as you see right here is $12.67 where the stock is trading at $3 at the moment more or less so it is about four times more than where the stock price is in uh, from the tip ranks the rating is pretty high it is a strong buy on tip ranks as well the average price target is $12.67 from the analyst there are three price target and all three analysts are saying buy the lowest price target though is $5 the average price target is $12.67 whereas the highest price target is $22 and and once again I want to note that this target is a long term it's not going to happen overnight these targets are usually multi-quarter targets it may happen that if the company has positive news if the company can meet their goals be before their timelines or if they got if they get any approval regulatory approval that can also spike in the pr stock price also these analysts change their uh, their targets their their rating on the stock um, multiple times during the year so this can change so you want to keep an eye out if you are only looking at the analyst target and the and the momentum based on that it might not be a great thing they have a few uh, catalysts coming up in terms of regulatory approval in terms of collaboration that i'm going to share with you very soon and in terms of overall momentum the way the stock is trading it may go to the lowest price level and this is my personal thoughts and opinion i am not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research before you invest in blrx or any other stock that i talk on this channel this is only the research and the analysis that i have done that i wanted to share it with you guys however the target right now is the lowest is five dollars on tip ranks the average is twelve dollars and sixty seven cents and the highest is twenty two dollars in addition there was a very good article that i was able to find on seeking alpha as well that investors are about to cash in on this phase three results for this company bioline rx is a late stage development pharmaceutical company focused on oncology with two multi-indication candidates in phase three and one approved product so this is one good thing that they have one approved product at the moment bioline rx's pipeline and product consist of one off strategy legacy commercialized class 2a medical device bl5010 for skin and two clinical stage therapeutics uh, run as a combination of therapies with bl8040 the product that we are going to talk about very soon and agi 135 bioline rx is unique in its low cost strategy with cash burn rate expected at negative 25 million dollars of 2020 and it is expected in january 21st the cash of 50 million dollars after the adr funds in addition bioline rx's upcoming catalysts include this q1 strategy for the product regulatory approval and next step announcements and agi 134 second half of 2021 initial efficacy results for the phase for the product for solid metastatic solid tumors in summary the author projects the bioline rx limited is a buy with a true two to three years price target of eight dollars and ninety two cents which is 265 percent upside now to note here is the target here that the, the given by the analysis two to three years which does mean that it may take up to two to three years before they can hit this price and this is just the the the, the research that i have done it may happen if the company announces some great results positive outcomes and the revenue if the company is revenue positive let's say next year or as soon as later this year it the price the stock price can jump pretty quickly and we have seen that in a lot of other stocks including zam zamedica we have seen in bngo we have seen in chek we have seen in atos so there are lots of stocks that we have seen that they double pretty quickly but this is a positive article that i wanted to share with you uh, and one more thing is there there is one more analyst came there there is one more analysis came on on this publication from tip ranks as well that could that that suggests that the spanish stock could rally all the way up to 11 dollars. the drug is being studied at the efficacy in promoting the harvesting bone marrow prior to the cancer treatment result from pre-planned interim analysis showed statistically significant evidence 
favoring the treatment with this product in the primary endpoint evidence which is which was so significant that the enrollment was completed early with 122 patients instead of 177 the stem cell mobilization using this product is seen as company's most efficient path to registering the new drug for the regulatory approval now if you think about the regulatory approval if the company gets the regulatory approval it catches a lot of eyes it catches a lot of momentum a lot of analysts will predict the price target and they will suggest buy if they get the regulatory approval so we are in early stage at the moment and what you want to consider is whether the company will get this approval or not now based on their previous approval that they got the company has some experience in getting approvals they have proven their path to get approval as well based on the potential of this product and the in the stock price that is trading at two dollars and forty cents per share the analysts think that this is the not this is the time now to pull the trigger and once again this is covering blrx the five star analyst uh, mark noted that our thesis remains centered on this product in stem set stem cell mobilization and we see a disconnect between companies market capitalization and the market opportunity as a stem cell mobilizer the key genesis secondary endpoints are expected by mid 2021 and we see there's a little risk heading into this data however we believe that the results from the phase three genesis trial could spur the majority of the transplant physician to choose BL8040. Investor Observer also noted that this is representing uh, 66, the score of 66 out of possibility of 100. Now, in the last part of this video, we'll talk about BioLine RX, what the company does and where they are headed. BioLine RX Limited is a clinical state biopharmaceutical company focused on oncology. The company's business model is to in license novel compounds, develop of them through the clinical stages and then partner with the pharmaceutical companies to further clinical development and or commercialization the company's lead program that is bl8040 is a cancer therapy platform currently being evaluated in a phase two a study with the treatment of pancreatic cancer in the com with the combination of key truda product and the chemotherapy under the collaboration agreement with msd and they're developing the second oncology program at the moment as we speak with the immunotherapy treatment for multiple solid tumors that is currently being invested Investigated in phase one and two a of the study their pipeline looks pretty solid their product bl8040 is in phase three at the moment which for which the next step is getting regulatory approval which is why it got a lot more attention and projections from the analysts it's got a lot of coverage as well on within the online portals and a lot of analysts are starting to say it's a buy because they are pretty close to the market uh, they're pretty close to getting the approval that also means the company may have more revenue in upcoming future now this product pretty much is a short synthetic peptide used as a platform in cancer immunotherapy with the unique feature allowing it to function as best in class in a number of clinical and practical uh, preclinical studies uh, the product has shown affect the multiple modes of action in cold tumors including immune cell trafficking to uh, by the immune effector T cells and reduction in immunosuppressive cells such as MDSCs with the tumor niche turning cold tumors such as pancreatic cancer now this company is collaborating with uh, major major pharmaceutical companies in general in 2016 they entered into the collaboration with msd which is known as mark in the united states to run the phase 2a study for the pancreatic cancer using the combination of this product and mark's keytruda product they initiated the study as a second half of 2016 with the objective of demonstrating the combination of drugs that has potential to expand the benefit of the immunotherapy to cancer types i initially talked about the companies burning through the cash and they they had pretty low amount they, they had pretty low cash in q3 2020 but this may not be a problem moving forward because bioline rx announced closing of 30 4.5 million bot deal offering and full exercise of the option of the underwriters. What that means is the gross proceeds to Bioline RX before deducting and underwriting discounts and commission. It is approximately 34.5 million and the company is intending to use this net proceeds from this offering for general corporate purposes that may include but not limited to working capital and funding 
clinical trials, which does mean that they'll be using this cash for the approval, regulatory approval, further studies, uh, making sure that they market the product, making sure that they, they, they fuel the supply chain management. So cash is not a problem. Once again, to look at what the cash looks like, their cash was 6.55 million in Q3 2020 with the 34 million, 34.5 million that they uh, they got the net proceed, proceed and the expenditures that they may have already in Q4 2020. They have enough cash to burn in 2021. The stock is trading once again $3.13 in current trading session. It is up from $2.93. Once again, do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell this stock. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my research and analysis just for the purpose of sharing this information with you so you can make informed decision in your investment strategy. Consider clicking on subscribe button to get timely updates and future videos and also click the like button because it helps me a lot to share this information with more and more people. Also share this video with your friends and family. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks all for watching.